Are you religiously applying serums, moisturizers, sunscreens, and following every skincare step but still not seeing results? Here's what most people miss. So without quality sleep, your skin can't fully repair or regenerate. Research shows that poor sleep accelerates signs of aging, it can worsen inflammation, and disrupt your skin barrier. I'm Dr. Mamina, a triple board certified dermatologist. I integrate medical dermatology with lifestyle and integrative health to help people heal from the inside out. So today we're diving into the science back connection between restore restorative sleep and your skin. So your skin follows a circadian rhythm just like the rest of your body. At night, especially during deep non-REM sleep, it switches from defense mode to repair mode. This is when skin generation accelerates. You have cell turnover increasing, DNA repair enzymes become more active, and the skin becomes more permeable, which helps your products absorb better. But there's a trade-off. This same permeability makes your skin more vulnerable to water loss and environmental stress if you're not getting enough rest. So, all right, let's talk about sleep and inflammation. Poor sleep raises cortisol, your body's main stress hormone, which can trigger inflammation and flare-ups. Even one night of sleep deprivation has been shown to increase the inflammatory markers IL-6 and TNF-alpha, both of which are linked to acne, eczema, and psoriasis. If your skin feels more reactive or your acne just won't calm down, your sleep routine might be playing a role. What about sleep and aging? Yes, we know there's a connection. Collagen production is highest at night, but only if you're getting quality sleep. Studies found that poor sleep significantly reduced skin elasticity, hydration, and barrier recovery. Participants were also rated as less attractive and more aged. Sleep deprivation also increases enzymes called MMPs, matrix metalloproteinases, and these are responsible for breaking down collagen. We don't like them. So what happens when you break down collagen? You get fine lines, dullness, and slower skin recovery. And no serum can out work chronic sleep deprivation hate to bring it to you. And as we mentioned earlier, sleep also plays a major role in repairing your skin barrier. At night, your skin's hydration and barrier repair are especially active, but poor sleep impairs your skin's ability to retain moisture and delays barrier recovery. It also reduces the production of key moisturizing factors like hyaluronic acid and ceramides. We love those ingredients in, in moisturizers. They're naturally in our skin too. We love these molecules to help with hydration and moisturization. When you have less of these molecules, it can lead to dryness, irritation, and a compromised skin barrier, making your skin more sensitive and less resilient. All right, so what practical tips can you do to help your skin and your sleep? So you wanna to stick to a good sleep schedule. Your skin heals best when your sleep is consistent. Try to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time. Easier said than done, especially if you have kids. You wanna avoid screens before bed, also easier said than done. But we know that blue light can suppress melatonin release, making it harder to fall and stay asleep. I'm personally a fan of blue light blocking glasses. It's just just an easy way to like automatically change your environment. It's also important to create a good wind down routine, things like journaling, an herbal tea, warm bath. These are all things that can help your body, like send a signal that your body needs to now rest. I don't know about you, but I just feel like I'm going, going, going all day. So it really does help have a ritual that kind of turns the dial down a bit. You also want to improve your sleep hygiene, things like blackout curtains, having a cool room, eating magnesium rich foods, or potentially taking a supplement. These can help promote deeper sleep. And then when it comes to skin care, you definitely want to take advantage of your night. This is when you want to apply your actives. Your skin absorbs these ingredients better while you sleep. So it makes it an ideal time for things like your retinoids, peptides, exfoliants. And also because your skin has a higher chance of water loss, you definitely want to use more of like a heavy duty moisturizer at night. Also, not saying that you have to do this, but I'm sure you've seen the viral sheet masks that you can sleep in, like this one from Biodance. This sheet mask has amazing hydrating ingredients, but it also seals the skin all night to keep those hydrating ingredients in, which is why they are so effective. A couple of patient stories. So I had a patient with chronic acne who wasn't improving despite a great routine. She was optimized on a lot of her prescription meds. It turns out she was sleeping only four to five hours a night. And once she started getting seven to eight hours, her skin significantly improved. I've also seen patients with psoriasis working night shifts and they struggle more with flares after their night shifts. And it's because their circadian rhythm is disrupted. So it just goes to show how sleep really is a foundational component to not only your skin health, but your overall 
overall health and well-being. Obviously, it's a very obvious statement, but a lot of people still ignore it. I also, being in Durham, I love that the skin is also just a way that your body's telling you something is off. Inflammation shows up very easily on the skin. Okay, so what does your sleep routine look like? Have you noticed a difference in your skin when you change things up? Let me know in the comments. And if this video is helpful, please like and subscribe for more science-backed skincare. It would mean so much to me. And please check out my next video on the biology of skin aging. Your healthiest skin starts with sleep. Prioritize it and your skin will thank you. And here's my detailed video on understanding skin aging.